Thoughts on No Time To Die's fifth delay for release, now in October 2021. Uh, no time to die, that old chestnut. Um, it feels like we're never going to see this movie. Uh, but I do get the reasons. It's not the only movie that is being delayed. Practically every major release Road, really, is being uh, delayed. To say the least. The movie itself had several issues before the coronavirus came about with the uh, pre-production, production, post-production, and uh, the pandemic really has put a number on the studio. I think, I think every major studio is in the is same situation, delayed. really. Like, so it's I not know just this every. I, I feel pain every time I see like Doctor Strange two or Thor four being delayed. I suppose in the current situation, it's the best thing to do. This particular um, film seems to especially be as the somewhat cursed. Are it seems like there's more trouble to actually release this film than it is to have made it. <laughs> but I'm confident we'll get it I in the end. We have to why. at some point. Because there's sort of a pandemic on, so I am very much uh, of the opinion that fair enough that it's getting delayed. Although I do feel I'm like just, there should be another the way of getting the movie. It, it out. is what it is. It will come out when it comes out. But initially, as a long-time Bond fan, I was frustrated. They just and do I still am in a way, but this sort of situation now, I don't really want to do much about it. Uh, Mulan or Wonder Woman 1984. I don't see why um, if the movies are getting completed why they can't just release it. Because I know COVID could make production a bit more delayed but that's a justified delay. No Time to Die is finished. So I don't see why they can't just release the it in the summer or something. And I mean, it's just a little disappointing hope that we but will hopefully again, be in a safe position to see it in October. With everything else being pushed back, it's probably the best thing. It's a situation where you're basically... Um, it, it's, I'm not going to be surprised if they, do if they push if they it do. back into you know, 2022 sort of in time for the 60th anniversary, which might, which might be a nice occasion, but um, we'll see what happens. You have been listening to Matt Moyer, Ollie Pajak and Neef Payne with linking narration by Nick Payne. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the Nicholas Payne YouTube channel.